Hey guys, uh, just wanted to do a really quick uh, kind of tutorial video. Uh, I recently dropped my iPhone 4S uh, and it broke the mic, so I had to go get another one. Um, this is technically a refurbished one um, from Best Buy. Now it came with 5.1.1 pre-installed from the factory on it. I didn't have to update it or anything like that. It, all, it automatically came with it from there. So what happened was I took it home um, and I uh, actually set it up as a new iPhone. Uh, because I didn't feel like, because I had so much stuff on my old one, and it wasn't backed up, so I just basically made a new iPhone. Uh, kind of still the same way, but I set it up again myself. Um, so anyway, guys, I was experiencing a problem. Anytime I would go into like a third-party app, like either iHeartRadio or Find, uh, Find, uh, Find My Friends, um, or it could be Facebook, it could be. Uh, Twitter, CNN, any kind of app that was not designed by Apple, such as even, even though Find My Friends were uh, was designed by Apple, it's not the same. Like I'm talking like one that's pre-installed on the phone automatically, like messages, photos, clock, calendar, things like that. That was perfectly fine, but I was getting an error message saying that connect to iTunes be a pop-up, and it would say connect to iTunes to uh, to see notifications or use notifications. I forget which exactly it said. Um, or maybe it was connect to iTunes to use notifications. So either way, uh, notifications was not working on any third-party app. So I'd still get text message notifications and phone call notifications, uh, but that was about it. Um, so I wasn't getting anything for Facebook, wasn't getting anything for like uh, iHeartRadio, no notifications at all. Um, so what I figured out was that uh, my actual iPhone uh, was not being uh, synced properly, uh, or it had bad corrupted firmware on it, which would be 5.1.1. So actually, uh, what I did was I plugged my phone into uh, my USB cable into my Mac. This is it. it. goes into my Mac. See? Um, so this is how you fix it. You plug your phone in. Uh, when it goes and syncs it up. Hey guys, just want to do a quick video here. Uh, this is my iPhone 4S. Uh, long story short, got it broken. Uh, got a new one. Well, it's basically refurbished. Uh, came pre-installed with 5.1.1 uh, software built into it uh, from the factory. So uh, I was like, cool. Don't have to download anything. So got home. Notifications weren't working on any third-party apps, but they were working on like messages and phone calls, but nothing like Facebook or Twitter or CNN or anything like that, ESPN, nothing was working, nothing, no no notification was coming up, even though I had them all enabled and everything like that in the settings menu. Um, so every time I would get an error message when I logged into an app like Facebook or CNN or ESPN, I'd log in uh, or just start the app up and it would say, uh, connect to iTunes to use notifications. Uh, and it said connect via USB to iTunes, uh, PC or Mac or whatever. Uh, so I was like, okay, so I did that, synced it all up, same thing happened. I uh, kept getting errors trying to get notifications, no notifications whatsoever, besides messages. So I figured out that the software that it came with from the factory, 5.1.1, uh, is still the latest up-to-date version of it, um, but it was corrupted when they put it on the phone. Um, could be because it's refurbished, I don't know for sure. Uh, I'm sure some people are having this issue due to jailbreak, but this was due to a factory install from 5.1.1. So this was not my problem. I didn't do it. I didn't touch. I didn't do anything with the phone. I didn't get it from an outside source. It just came like this uh, from the factory. So my solution to it was actually once you plug your phone into the uh, Mac or PC or whatever. I'm using a Mac. Um, uh, so what you're going to want to do is plug your phone into the Mac uh, via USB like I just did. Plug it over there. Uh, and then you're going to go ahead and hit restore. When you restore it's going to pop up with download over here and it's going to say uh, downloading 5.1.1 software. So you're probably going to question yourself, why would it be downloading 5.1.1 when you already have it on your phone? That's the same question I asked, but I didn't really know the answer to it until now. So it turns out the file was corrupted that was on the iPhone 4S originally. The software was definitely corrupted, uh, and it wasn't allowing me to get notifications. So I restored my phone. I actually downloaded the whole new software, put it on the phone. Probably took a good 15-20 minutes. Make sure you back your phone up before you do this. Um, and so after I did that, uh, I turned my phone on and I got notifications. 
Um, another thing that I was having issues with was iMessage. It was not turning on no matter what I did. So if you're having that issue, this also fixes the iMessage issue. Uh, this could happen, like I said, from a jailbreak or even from uh, 5.1.1 being installed from the factory. So if you didn't install 5.1.1 yourself from iTunes, not from a jailbreak, but from iTunes, then you definitely need to uh, make sure that there's no iMessage issues or notification issues. And if there are, this is how you do it. Just hit restore, let it download, uh, let it back up the phone, let it do everything, and then reinstall your apps and everything like that, and you'll be perfectly fine. Um, so that's the easy fix for it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching.